what is wisdom? Why do we need it? And how do we get it? I put those three questions at the heart of my new book, The Seven Stone Path, An Everyday Journey to Wisdom, available now wherever you get books. And this book is a labor of love. It took me 14 years to write and I've poured everything into it for my 33 years of teaching philosophy, comparative religion, world mythology in college classrooms and off campus. I kept hearing the same question, Peter, what's a good book that you could recommend that takes the questions we just were engaged in a little bit further, a little bit deeper? I'd love to take something home and be able to read something that continues this incredibly important inquiry into wisdom. And I thought, well, there's a lot of great books about philosophy of all kinds, with all sorts of different perspectives. Read them all. <laughs> But you may want to start here with The Seven Stone Path. This is not a book for everyone. No book is. But I really intended this book to be a beginning of a lifelong learning process. This is a book about philosophy for non-philosophers. I, I was drawn to philosophy and comparative religion from a very young age. But I also quickly realized most people are not. <laughs> And yet they live lives full of questions. And I'm like, how can I bring these two worlds together? The world of sort of academic philosophy, which is quite off-putting to many people, and the real existential uh, angst that so many of us live through just by existing. How can I make philosophy more approachable, more useful, and kind of weave all those threads together? It's a big ask, but I asked myself to try. <laughs> And I tried and I labored and this is the result of that. So you'll hear a lot of familiar ideas from all kinds of different Eastern and Western wisdom traditions here, but I hope that they're all expressed in a way that leads you into an inquiry about how to deepen into the wonder and the healing and wholeness of your own life. Wisdom is not something I have that I am now distributing to others. I don't think wisdom is a body of information. Wisdom is a way of being in the world. It's in a way content free. It's a stance, not a position. It's a way of moving, not terrain that you plant a flag in and then defend it against all comers. There is such a rich conversation to be had. I hope that you take the opportunity to read this book and then you and I can spend the rest of our lives kind of chewing on all of the ideas that come up there and building the path together. There's a great line that often comes to mind. We, we make the path by walking. Or Krishnamurti's immortal line, truth is a pathless land. I love that, and yet it is also true dialectically that there are certain core ideas that rise up, in fact, seven of them. And I'm gonna share those seven ideas in this book and build them sequentially, one on top of the other, on top of the other, and like Russian nesting dolls, they all grow out of the heart of longing that we all have. That's what the word philosophy means, it means the longing for wisdom, the yearning, the love of wisdom. We all have it. We're all philosophers in that sense. Philosophy is an everyday activity like breathing. It's absolutely universal. And I'm just determined to bring that line of thinking into everybody's lives. So pick up your copy of The Seven Stone Path, An Everyday Journey to Wisdom, and let's get started walking the seven stone path together. I thank you so much for listening to this video and, and inviting me into your space. I hope that you and I can continue to work together on this. Thanks so much and I'll see you on the other side.